Hello guys, welcome to another session. In this session, we are going to look into padding. So let's jump into the Visual Studio Code to understand this topic. So we are into the Visual Studio Code and the kind of setup we are having over here is the same whatever we have used to understand the margin. So as usual, what we will do, we will run this file and we will look into the output, how the output is coming without applying the style sheet. And then we will create the CSS for understanding the padding so that we will recognize the visual difference. So let's run it. So to run it, select this file, press F1. It will give you the first option. Select this one and click on open in browser. So this is the output without applying the CSS. Now let's jump into the Visual Studio code to write the CSS for understanding the paddings. But prior to writing the CSS, I wanted to show one diagram so that we can better understand the padding concept. So in the last session, we have have discussed about the margin which is a external space now you can recognize this diagram and here you will find that the margin is the outer space now what we are going to learn in this session is the padding which is an internal space which is within the border so this border which we have created and the spacing between this border to this element is called padding so this space we are going to manage and we will learn that how we can manage the padding so let's jump into the visual studio code to write it so to write the padding we will create a class called pad so now let's write the css for this class we will call it dotted notation with name of the class pad this is going to be selector and now we will provide the declaration so let's write it so to create the padding we are going to use a property called padding and then we need to specify top right bottom and left so we will provide a value now so let's provide it first we will write for top so let's write it 100 pixel and remaining one we will keep it 0 0 pixel 0 pixel so let's look into the output so here you will find that it has shrinked 100 pixel but whether it is a padding we don't know so for to know this fact what we will do we will create a border around this element so that we can understand with the visual effect so let's do it so let's give a border over here so that we can recognize the visual difference so border and border is going to be one pixel and we are telling that it should be solid and the color should be black now let's jump into the browser so now you can easily recognize that it is a internal space not the outside space so that means internal space is managed by padding now let's proceed further now we will provide the value for the right side so just give 100 pixel for right side let's look into the difference save here we need to specify the zero pixel save it let's jump into the browser so here you will find that there is no much difference so internally it is displaying from here that is 100 pixel but we are not getting the visual difference so what we will do we will increase the size of the right padding so that we can recognize the visual difference so let's increase it so to make it more visible we will increase the size and we will tell that thousand pixel it should display from the right now let's look into that now this is the visual difference you will find that it has shrinked the space from the right and it has wrapped the text because it is not getting a space over here so now let's proceed further now we will look into the bottom pixel so let's make it zero and give 100 pixel over here save it this is the value for the bottom padding so let's jump into the browser so here you will find that it has created the internal space with the help of bottom padding now let's proceed further now let's specify the leftmost padding for the element so make it zero so here you we will make it 100 pixel look into the browser now so here you will find that from the left at 100 pixel it has displayed this content of the element let's proceed further now if you are providing the single value that means the same value can be applicable for top right bottom left so we'll write it 100 pixel see the visual difference to so see here from top right bottom left the value is same that is 100 pixel from right side you are not able to visualize it but believe me it is 100 pixel now let's proceed further now suppose if you are providing the three values so it represent the first value is being top so that is going to be for example 100 pixel we can take and the second value we will tell that it is going to be 200 pixel that is representing right and left and for bottom we are going to specify 100 pixel or we can say that 300 pixel so that we can see see the visual difference so the first value is the top value middle one is representing the right and left and the third one is representing the bottom pixel value so let's look into the browser to so see here from top it is 100 pixel from right left it is 200 pixel and for 
bottom it is 300 pixel and you can easily visualize the spaces coming from the padding as it is an internal space within the border now let's proceed further now suppose if you are providing the two values for example if you are removing this first one and if you are keeping the 200 pixel and the 300 pixel that means that you want top and bottom 200 pixel padding and for left and right you are providing 300 pixel value let's look into the output within the browser save jump into the browser see here it is 200 pixel from top and bottom and 300 pixel from left and right this way you can manage the internal spacing with the help of padding this is what i wanted to demonstrate you in this session see you in the next session till then bye bye take care